Hey everyone, it's Rob B here with Rob D. We're from The Property Hub and this week we're talking passive income. Yeah, the dream for so many people, a passive income from property. But where do you start? Well, today we're gonna to tell you how. So what is passive income? There's a definition of passive income that I really like, which is that it's income that requires little to no daily effort to maintain. So you can imagine getting passive income from property, from owning shares and receiving dividends, or from royalties for something you've created in the past. There are lots of different ways of earning passive income, but the important point in that definition is it requires no daily effort to maintain. That doesn't mean that you don't have to make effort at some points. There will always be some kind of work involved. So there are lots of different ways that you can earn passive income, but the key word in there is maintain. This is about income that doesn't take much to keep it coming in once you've got it up and running. You are gonna to have to put effort in at the start. So passive income is not something magical that just appears. It's something where you do the work up front and then structure it in a way that you keep on getting paid even after you've stopped making the bulk of the effort. Right, let's make something very clear from the beginning. A lot of property investment isn't passive. So strategies like flipping, holiday lets, rent to rent, and many more are not passive strategies. Some people try and say they are, but they are not. You will need to put time and effort in to get results. So therefore, your income is not passive. You will make income if you do it well, but most strategies are not passive. If you have money, then there are strategies open to you that will allow you to earn a passive income from property. But if you don't have money, you are going to have to trade your time for income. Property isn't magic. You can't put no money in and then get a passive income. Although some people will tell you, you can, but you may not want to follow their advice. So how do you get passive income from property? Well, the answer is rent. At its absolute simplest, you go to the effort of finding a property, buying it, putting a tenant in there. And then after that, yes, there will be some things to do, but broadly speaking, the rent continues to come in passively, whether you are doing anything on a particular day or not. So it's not exciting, it's not glamorous, but by far the most common way to make passive income from property, something that people have been doing for hundreds of years, is saving up, buying a property, renting it out, and then collecting the rental income that comes back in. You can though do a little bit more to maximize the amount of passive income that you can generate with the funds that you've got. And you can do that by refurbishing a property first to increase its value, then refinance so you don't have to put so much money in. For more on that approach and how to decide which of those approaches to take, watch our video on the best way to invest 50,000 pounds in property. There's one other important consideration as well, which is how important is passive income to you over overall because there's a trade-off in general the property that generates the most income month to month is not the property that's going to grow the most in value over the long term so if passive income is what you really really need and want then it makes sense to make investments that maximize it and for many people that will be the case that is what you should do but there are other people who find the idea of passive income very seductive but it's not going to make a big difference to their lives what would make more of a difference is having assets that grow significantly in value over a decade or more. That's why it's important to be honest with yourself about how important passive income is. It's great, everyone would take it if they could get it, but is it what you really need? If it is, you'll be making one type of investment. If it's not, and you actually want the long-term growth, you'll be making a different type of investment. So you need to determine where on that scale you fall so you can decide which type of property you should be buying. Now, it's really important to say that if you plan to let out a property and you want to achieve a passive income, you'll need to outsource the management. So that's a letting agent running that property for you. So they'll deal with the tenants, they'll find the tenants, they'll do inspections, they'll do all the work. Now, that is not enough because not all letting agents are created equal. So you will have to do some work to go and check that your letting agent can do all that and allow you to be passive. And remember, once you've done that research and you've handed that over, yes, you may want to do checks, but really you need to then trust them to get on with it. Because if you get involved and you start micromanaging them, then guess what? It's not a passive income. So passive income is achievable through property, but not completely. There are strategies that are passive, but nothing is 100% passive. You need to find a deal. You'll need to apply for a mortgage you'll need to select a letting agent. Once all these things are done, then your work is minimal. But then at some point, you'll need to renew your mortgage. 
agree rental increases. There are always gonna be little things to do. So while property investment isn't 100% passive, it's pretty close. And for most people, that's absolutely fine. So now you're ready to start building your passive income. It's not gonna be easy, but start putting those tips into action now and you'll get there in the end. Yeah, but one thing you don't wanna be passive with is subscribing, because you're gonna miss out on loads of great videos. So do that now.